kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. See here, six new injectors. Throw a rod now, probably. <laughs> That's better. Now it don't smoke. Way better. That looks better. Way less. She's got a straight pipe on her now too. The muffler was... <laughs> fill you in on the story here in a few minutes. Well, on my way back from the big city of Mooseman here, I went to John Deere and picked up a couple thermostats and gaskets for that 5020. So they're uh, pretty sure that's part of the issue we're having with uh, circulating heater not wanting to heat things there uh, one of you guys had said in the comments to check the upper rad hose or whatever and uh yeah it was warm so they're either weak or not heavy enough thermostats or stock open so <clears throat> whatever i'll throw a couple of 180 degree ones in there and that should fix the issue i think um back to the cat there though uh it was making engine oil. There was diesel fuel running into the engine oil that I'd found. So I uh, pulled the injectors and found one was wet and drippy. And uh, they actually had a full set of six where he got the bolts from. So changed out all six of them there. Man alive, what a difference that made for the old girl. So that's, uh, that's got her fixed up there now, I think. So we're... Uh, really going to work on getting those pads on. Uh, buddy's there working on his 5020. We're going to put that loader on and bring it back in the shop. A few odds and ends to tie up on it and try to get his bucket and grout fork on it there too. So yeah, busy, 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 busy. And then I want to go uh, get trucks loaded up with canola again tomorrow. I got something to finish hauling in today. And really pushing them. I got to get it hauled in before the year's out because obviously I need the money from it to pay off the last of my uh, inputs alone there. So fun and games, eh? Anyway, I guess Amanda's at home doing some chores with her donkeys and stuff there. So I think she made some clips of that too. So make sure I get this in the old video here for you as well. Anyway, I guess I will talk to you guys here when we get back home again. <laughs> Look at this! Fuck, she's coming together. It's a little small on the tractor, but for his little flock of uh, 20 and 30 cows there, she's going to do them just fine, I reckon. Look at this, too. Almost like I measured... Fuck, that's nice. What do you figure, old son? <laughs> All right, we're going to get her on here, and I'll bring you back in a few. He's so fucking excited there, he's just going to go to town, so... <laughs> Ivan just shredded a bale. A clover bale. Keep them occupied while I went and got a bale ring out of where we have the hay bale stacked just so they don't go in there and start eating all the bales while I'm getting the bale ring for the donkeys. Is it good? Approved? Or not approved for your liking? You seem to like it. Okay, 
Now I'm going to get that bell ring. You see it standing up there. I even had pushed it up a little. It should be easy to grab anyways. So I'll go open the gate and grab that and take it to the donkeys. Now that we got the bell ring, we will take it over to the donkeys. Um, the donkeys, they had one of our better bell rings, so uh, we went and took that one out and we're going to give them this one. It's good enough for the donkeys. For the cows, not so much. So, give them this, give them a hay bale, and then they should be good to go. There's the passenger. Hey, what's wrong? You're getting hungry, it's almost lunchtime. Hey, Maya. Here, Fox. Looking outside. Hey. Okay. Hi. Drop that in there. I'll go uh I'll just move it by hand to set it down. Nick brought that the other day. We didn't have a bale ring in here and they needed to clean up their leftover hay. They're, they're checking it out. Anyways, I'll go move that, put the hay bale in and go back to the yard. Come here. Should be good. Hey Ernie. Hey, beans. That's burnt. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> All our cats, beans, Fred, tonsils. Look at our house over there. Hey, beans. So this is the cow that has a bad foot. Hey, girl. We had gave her some medicam to it's anti inflammatory. Gave it to her on Saturday mm -hmm. and it lasts three days. But I just went to the vet and got one more dose of it. Her foot her foot is a lot better than what it was, but one last shot I think will do the trick. So I'm just gonna run her through the system here and give her that dose. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, go three. Go girl. I'll let her out into the crowding tub and then I'll, uh, I'll run her up the alley. Come on. Go girl. Get her in there first. I'll go open the alley after and see you in a second. One, up, up. Okay, here she is. Big number three. Ready, go up. Come on, girl. Go up. Up. Push her right in there. There she goes. Okay, I have her in. It's hard to video. Jumping over panels and whatnot. 
Okay, are you ready for your shot? It's just under the skin. Anyways, I'll give her a shot and she can go back in the barn. Okay, I gave her a shot of Medicam. Um, like she says, it lasts three days. So, in three days, we will see what she's like. Go back, girl. If she is still kind of not 100%, we'll have to take her into the vet. Come on, back. Back. Good job. Now I just have to go over there and grab that. She'll go back in the barn for a few days. What a good girl. Hey, you deserve extra chop for being so good. Nice big cow. I'll give you some hay and go grab your water. Then you should be good. Yes. Okay, hauling water to that cat on the barn. Little big socks. See? It's not chop. It's not chop. We had move, moved this cow over with these two bulls just because she's going to calve. Not sure when, but soon. She wasn't supposed to calve till March. It's a little bit early, but what do you do? This is just one and not all 72 of them. I forgot to mention, uh, this is one of those bread heifers I had bought from Verdon, Manitoba. She's a Simmental, bred to a Simmental bull. But look at her. Just ready to have a baby. Is that hay good? <laughs> Enjoying the food. She is the most stubborn heifer ever. This one. Let's go. Come in. Oh. Good girl. We got that one tied up. This one's next. Good job. Good girl. Okay. So I'm just locking this heifer up. Just in case she does calve, it's not outside. She can go in the barn. Okay, let's go around. The other way. Go around. She says, fuck you. <laughs> you see your friends in the morning. You can come back out. Go in the barn for the night. Hey? You can get in there. Stay in there for the night. Hey, I'll give you some top. Give me a minute. There, I got her in. Hey, you're nice. Hey, girl, I'll give you some chop for being so nice. I was trying to video her going through the alley here, and my phone froze up, so I couldn't get that on video, but here she is. Yummy. One of the best things is working with these girls. I think anyways. 
I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it sure is mine. Love it. Happy. Well, it's the next day here. Uh, I didn't really video too much yesterday because we were just kind of giving her shit there to try to get some stuff done. Um, had a decent little shot of snow again last night. Nothing too crazy, but uh, enough that everyone needs some bedding. So um, the shredder was still hooked up on that 50-20 as of yesterday. And since it's in the shop again, they're now getting finished up. Obviously the uh, bale shredder was unhooked. And uh, McCormick was plugged in and 4440 wasn't. So we just threw the McCormick on the shredder here for today. So we'll rip out there and grind these up. And uh, I'll well, probably be a video because I know Amanda made a whole pile of... Uh, cow clips there, everything she's been up to the last couple days here, so we'll throw that together for you and then the next one we'll do a all in the shop there with that 50-20 I think, so anyway, I suppose talk to you guys here and we uh, get out in the corrals let's try this fucking mounted camera here fuck we're getting professional around here if you can see anything there, not really. for the boys here. The boys and the pregnant Stella. <laughs> well, they're all pregnant, but she's the one that's uh, gonna pop here right away, so. Okay, now we're gonna do a half Nelson here and try to uh, back the shredder up in line with the uh, their shelter and blast some straw in there for them. Harry and Lloyd. Fucking morons, anyway. Oh boy, straw! Like a pair of fucking idiots. Got a few other pens to do, but uh, I don't know if I'll video it or not because it's pretty cramped fucking maneuverings in there, so I'll bring it back in a few.
Well, there we go. That was kind of neat, eh? The old time lapse. It worked kind of, sort of, not really, because my phone was being an asshole, but you got the gist of it. But fuck, there's some happy cows now there in the Buford and the old girls, all nice and bedded down, and the heifers there just burning around. Off Tanya, she doesn't even know where she is right now. She's just upset, going for a jog. <laughs> They're up there fucking happier than pigs and shit now too, the whole big group of them, so. And the bulls are still standing there rubbing their dings together, but, hell yeah, well. <laughs> anyway, I suppose, guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave you, so. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Other than that, talk to all you in the next one.